so guys this is the chicken for the rice so these are my ingredients ginger nutmeg onion pepper curry seasoning cube bay leaf and garlic so i pour into it and uh, bring it to boil for like 15 minutes okay so here are the ingredients for the rice the um biscuit for the chicken and that's a sauce so i'll be garnishing this rice with just carrot and green pepper then for my coleslaw i'll be adding uh beetroot to it just to give it a color i love it though it's also healthy so here i'm stir frying my onion just i added a little oil it's not up to four spoons of oil just to stir fry the onion because i already had uh this uh uh, tomato sauce made previously and I uh, have to get it from the freezer for this rice so I won't be needing much uh, spices or ingredient for this jello rice so uh, that's the seasoning cube added then I'll be seasoning my chicken broth into the tomato sauce uh, chicken broth is the water I got from boiling my chicken. Okay, so I will season with salt to taste. Then adding my rice into it. Then for the chicken, I'll be using... Uh, you guys saw that egg and biscuit. I'm using it to fry my chicken because I want this chicken to be very crispy and uh, crunchy. So I stir my rice... I like to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. So here our rice is ready. So here I'm adding the green pepper and the onion and cover it so that the heat can cook uh, cook the vegetables a bit, not properly cooking. So while that was getting set, I've already shredded the cabbage and the carrots with the beetroot. That's it over there. So here I'm packing the rice. Um, so it's actually a, a friend's birthday. So I said to give her a portion of the uh, jollof rice meat today. So I'll be celebrating in her joy. So I'll be sending this pack for her. So that's how we came to the end of this cooking series. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye-bye and God bless you. Bye.